In this lesson, we'll have a quick discussion on when to use the suffix IDE, ATE, and ITE when naming molecules. Just a quick note before we start. The suffix IDE is reserved for ionic compounds. Remember, an ionic compound is one where you have a metal with a non-metal. And only the non-metal element, who's written second, ends with IDE. I'll show you some examples soon. The suffix ATE and ITE are reserved for polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions are clusters of elements that always stay intact, and some examples are shown in this table. Just like nonmetals, polyatomic ions also make a bond with metals. And whenever a polyatomic ion loses an oxygen, their suffix changes from ATE to ITE. Now let's take a look at some examples. We have in our very first example, and the most typical one when it comes to chemistry, NaCl. Na means sodium, and it is forming a bond with chlorine, chlorine being the non-metal. Since we're not dealing with polyatomic ions here, we would simply write this down as sodium chloride. We have sodium and chlorine, but instead of writing chlorine, we end it with IDE. It is a simple ionic compound. In example B, we have potassium represented by the letter K, and the rest of the molecule is NO3. Taking a quick look at this table, you'll notice that NO3 minus is nitrate. So the way you would name this is potassium nitrate. Now, hypothetically, had this been KNO2, rather than writing down nitrate, you would replace this ATE with ITE. You see, when the polyatomic ion has NO2, we call it nitrite. But when it's NO3, we call it nitrate. In the next example, example C, we have MgO. Mg is the metal, it's magnesium, and O represents oxygen. Neither of these are polyatomic ions. As you can tell, they're not even in this polyatomic chart. They're elements. So you would name them just like how you'd name any other ionic compound, where you have magnesium oxide. So we drop the Y-G-E-N in oxygen and replace it with I-D-E. No polyatomic ions here. Finally, in example D, we have B-E, which represents beryllium, that's a metal, and a polyatomic ion, ClO3-. ClO3- is chlorate. We would name this beryllium chlorate. Had this been ClO subscript 2, we would call it beryllium chlorite. And two less oxygens, ClO, would be hypochlorite, just in case you're wondering. And that's all there is to it. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, we would appreciate your support with a thumbs up.